All right, hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar today. We'll be covering Qualaroo's new feature, Nudge for Prototypes. This session will be recorded and available for future viewing. We will also have a Q&A session at the end of our demonstration, so please feel free to write in with any questions you may have. My name is Michael Nadelman. I'm the Director of Customer Success here with Qualaroo, and I'm very excited to give you a demonstration of Nudge for Prototypes. Qualaroo created Nudge for Prototypes to help you fuel your prototyping process with user feedback and is supported across Envision, Figma, Marvel, Axure, Adobe XD, and custom URLs. What's the best part? Nudge for Prototypes requires no code to implement. Now, during our demonstration today, we will be going through an Envision prototype as well as a custom URL. And we'll go ahead and get started. So navigating to the Qualaroo dashboard, the creation process for Nudge for Prototypes will be very similar to a traditional survey type across desktop, mobile web, or native SDK. You'll navigate to the top right, select Create New, New Survey from Scratch, and Nudge for Prototypes. From this screen, you will paste your prototype URL and Qualaroo will immediately recognize which tool is registering with your prototype. It will then register and then provide the steps you need to take on your side in order to prepare this URL to be ready for Qualaroo implementation. And please note that this project may be secured with a password. And if so, please make sure all viewers have access to login credentials. Once you've taken these steps on the tools side, you'll then select next. From this screen, you will see the URL address as well as the ability to test now. We recommend testing to ensure that Qualaroo does appear in this next screen. And as you can see here, if you see this message, your nudge for prototypes will work perfectly. Now, that means that any survey that you create within this flow will appear on your nudge for prototypes. Now going back, once we've identified that that does work, We'll then select create. Once we select this option, you will be taken into the traditional survey creation flow and nudge creation flow. You'll be able to change your, your text here for the title, as well as the question text with all of the same answer and question options for a traditional nudge type. For this nut prototype, we can ask something similar to, What do you think the purpose of this page is? And for this type of question, we would recommend having an answer type be a text-based answer option to gather all that qualitative feedback. Once you've determined the traditional nudge type flow, we'll then select the ability to target your nudge. From this page, there will be a few differences to the traditional nudge type uh, targeting section. Now from here, you will see the original URL address that you provided, as well as the edited URL address for the nudge for prototypes. You can check this option now, so we can then select this option and see our question appear directly in the prototype. And if we're looking for more options for targeting, we can select these options from the when and how often targeting options. And these are very similar to what you'll see in a traditional nudge flow. You'll also have the ability to notify yourself whenever you receive responses in the same format via email. Once you've determined the correct targeting steps, you'll then design your nudge, and you'll have the same options as far as a dark and light color scheme, as well as the ability to update your nudge design through hexadecimal coloring for all of these options from the background to the checkmark icon at the end. You'll also be able to suppress Qualaroo branding, of course, and use a custom logo. Now, at the very bottom of the the design section, you will be able to see your uh, URL associated with your nudge for prototypes. Once we save this option and navigate back to the dashboard, you will be able to then select the Qualaroo nudge for prototype option from the uh, dashboard here. Now, I'd like to go through the same process, but with a custom URL, so you can see what it looks like 
outside of a prototype. So we'll select create new again from scratch, nudge for prototypes, and we'll select warbyparker.com this time. Now we'll wait for that to validate and select next. And we can test now to confirm that it does appear on the Warby Parker homepage. If you see this message, your nudge for prototypes will work perfectly. And this is another demonstration of how Qualaroo can be used to gather feedback, not only from a prototype, but from a custom URL of your choice. Now that will conclude the demonstration option here. So once you've created all of the nudges that you'd like for nudge for prototypes, you'll be able to pull the URL directly from the dashboard and distribute it to your users any way that you see fit. This can also be done with Qualaroo on site if you'd like to include the Qualaroo nudge for prototypes as a call to action button as a start step or message screen option within a Qualaroo poll on site or in application. Now at this point, we will go ahead and take questions. So please feel free to write in with any questions that you may have. So the first question we have is nudge for prototypes available in all plans. That is correct. Nudge for prototypes will now be available uh, for you uh, no matter what plan you have, and it will be immediately available for you for full support. Another question that we received is, uh, so there's no code involved? That is exactly correct. I've got covered the entire process from start to finish on the survey creation, nudge creation and implementation, and the feedback as well, uh, meaning that absolutely no JavaScript snippet is required, no SDK implementation is needed for this, and you will receive full fun functionality just by preparing the URL on the tool side. And we'll go ahead and stick around for any other questions that may come in. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today. Again, this session is recorded, so this information will be available. We will be distributing this later this month. And of course, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to support at qualaroo.com. We are here to help, and we can't wait to get started with Nudge for Prototypes.